Hello and welcome Nefty Watches. We are here at Miami Jackson Senior High School in Alapada, which is a location site of Miss Washington's business camp. There are 18 students inside this room right here who are competing for the number one spot at the South Florida Miami Business Competition, but there can be only one winner. Let's go in and see how they're doing. Miss Washington? Yes. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. So, hey, Samia. We're here with Nessie Lou because I know you're having your amazing camp inside. So, why don't you just come in and peek and see how the students are Come doing. right in. We were expecting you. Come right in. Attention, everyone. We have Samia here from Nessie Lou's. We were expecting her. She wants to review some of these great business plans <coughs> that we have created. Some of you, we just were going over our cost structure because we know that the cost structure is the brain of your business. If your numbers are not correct, then your business is not gonna be that great. So I think everybody in here pretty much got it together. We are pretty much done and we're getting ready to compete this Friday because Miami Jackson Biz Camp is gonna walk away with a W, right? Yes. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you, and if you like, you can walk around and review some of the students' plans. All right. Let's go ahead and start speaking to some students. All right. So who are you, and what is your business? My name is George Anderson. I'm the CEO and founder of Anderson Industries, who introduces Flight Tag. Flight Tag is basically a tracker that tracks everything up to pet, from pets to wallets and keys and book bags. My, my idea came from my grandfather and many people who have dementia and memory loss. My, my grandfather started losing stuff around the house and getting frustrated, so I, so I came up with this idea. Very nice, that's amazing. The thing is, the next to this camp, we love to incorporate personal stories into their business plan. So like George here, super inspiring. Let's continue. Now we've heard that amazing pitch from George. Let's go over to Nalia and hear about hers. So Nalia, tell us a little bit more about your business concept. My business is about, it's a game, an app, an app game that's supposed to go on iOS and Android. It's about the stock market. It's called Ride the Bull, the stock market adventure. And the richest one, the richest 1% one earn 26.3 times as much as the bottom 99%, which is most people. But, um, you don't have to become one of the 1%. The problem is the lack of knowledge on the stock market and the game and solution is my game that educates teens on the stock market so that they can learn how to do it so then they can eventually earn from it. All right, now I'm joined with Christian and Christopher and I'm gonna ask them how their biz camp experience has been so far. So Chris, how would you say the last two weeks have been for you? Um, it's been pretty good, I really like the program. It helped, it helped me create my own business, which um, I really like, and I'm expecting to do more with my business later in the future. Oh, nice. So what is your business plan? Um, my business plan is, is um, VRT, which is a virtual reality therapist to help um, people with mental health. Nice. Well done. Congratulations on having experience so far. My business camp experience was really good. They helped me interact with people and make a business named Coding with Chris. Nice. So what is your business? So helping people, helping people cope. All right, nice. Well done. I want to come on to you. Oh, hey, Samia. Hey, darling. So this is actually one of our Nefty alumni who's actually doing the business camp again. So what is your business this year? Well, this year my business is called the Bridging Over Barriers, where we help others one page at a time. My business focuses on providing resources to people who can't read. Mm, interesting. Thank you. So now we're going to go over to Zamani and Jonesta and let them talk about cost structure for a little bit. Hey guys, let me know about your business and a little bit about your cost structure. My business refurbishes old shoes and makes them look new again by incorporating bedazzled gems and anything you want. And I'm here to explain the cost structure. The cost structure is basically the brain of the business plan. The definition of one unit is one pair of desert shoes. The economics of one unit is basically the cost of variables, and the series, which is the cost of labor. And when you, have, when you have all those, you're going to take your total cost of goods and your set aside, then go to subtract that, which, which is going to give you the contribution margin. Description of expenses includes two things your variable material expenses, which are things that fluctuate throughout every month, 
and your fixed expenses, which are things you would pay every month. And you take your fixed expenses and divide it by your contribution margin to find out your monthly break even units. All right, Miss Washington has been teaching at Nefty for over 15 years and has been teaching students how to create their own business plans. But before we go back to the studio, let's get some words of advice from Miss Washington herself. So Miss Washington, what's some words of advice you'll give not only the Nefty News Watchers at home, but also some students? I always tell my students, when you're trying to plan a business, you're not trying to reinvent the wheel, you just want to enhance that wheel. Do something that you are already doing, something you love doing, something that you are passionate with. And Nifty is the place to make that happen. Thank you. All right, everyone, so that concludes the tour of Miss Washington's business camp here at Miami Jackson Senior High School. Thanks for watching, and now it's back to Samia live in the studio.